What you are about to see in a couple of seconds time is the most amount of loot ever found in Clash of Clans in a single hour guys. It is absolutely crazy what's about to come on screen so stay tuned and hopefully you'll enjoy it. So check this out guys, we are back with a brand new episode on the channel, my name is General Tony and welcome my friends to what has possibly been the rarest base I have ever seen guys. This dude has literally given me his entire base for free and take a look at how much money's in this base. 1.2 million gold, 1,266,000 elixir and just under 10,000 dark elixir guys. This is absolutely ridiculous. Hopefully we can three star it. Only got two minutes and something on the clock. So I'm going to need to be a bit quick here. I'm actually going to rage up the queen guys. Now once this raid is over, I have got something absolutely insane to show you. So make sure you stay tuned. Just before we do, let's see if we can three star this guys. Take your guesses down below. Are we going to be able to three star this in the two minutes? Two seconds we've got. I'm going to drop in another rage spell. I'm going to freeze the heroes. And I'm going to come in with two packers. Actually, we're going to go with another rage, guys. Take out the heroes as quick as we can. And then we're going to start working on the rest of the base. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go for the loot. We are going to come in from... I'm going to take out the bomb towers with the baby dragons, guys. Damn, we're going to run out of time here. I'm speaking too much. Let's just come in here and absolutely wreck this dude's base, guys. Here we go. All the giants, wall breakers, everything is going to come in now. Hopefully, we can grab all of this loot, guys. Literally the most insane base I've ever seen in my life. And this guy's basically giving it all, to free, all for free to us. This is incredible. Let's drop that free spell on that Inferno Tower. Go with the Poison spell. Put the Barbarian King's ability. And let's check on the Queen. Wow, where's the Queen? I don't know where she is, guys. I think we might have lost her because I wasn't paying attention. But we've still got a minute on the clock. Let's put the Grand Warden's ability. Take out the Town Hall. And it looks like we've done it, guys. Dropping in the rest of the troops. This is honestly the most insane base. I have ever seen in my entire career playing this game. 1.5, sorry, 1.25 million golden elixir. And this guy gave it to me all for free. Now, I want to show you something absolutely incredible, guys. We're going to go for a three star. And we're going to take this base out. And then I want to show you what kind of loot I've been finding over the last hour. I, I kind of feel like Supercell has done something to this game. Where they have added extra loot in before Town Hall 13 is being released, guys. And I want to show you why I think that. So, check this out. In total, 1 million, 2 million 466,000 loot. Plus, we got a loot bonus. But take a look at this, guys. This is incredible. Look at my recent attacks. The one at the bottom, 1 million and 72,000 elixir, 900 plus thousand gold. The middle one... 1 million and 80 thousand elixir 1 million and 80 thousand gold and the top one 1.2 million gold 1.26 million elixir guys all of those attacks have been done in the last 12 minutes and we have got one two three four five six seven million resources in 12 minutes surely that is a world record i've got absolutely no idea but it is absolutely staggering so before we carry on and do some more of these million loot raid attacks, guys. What are we going to do? We are going to upgrade some more of these level 11 love walls down the bottom. So I'm going to drop 3.2 million gold. Sorry, 3.2 million elixir. And then we're going to drop 3.2 million gold. And another 3.2 million gold. And that's going to take us to a grand total. Let's check. Of 27 left. We've almost done it, guys. 27 level 11 lava walls to go and we will have maxed out all the walls and then we can start upgrading them to level 13 we've only done one so it's going to take a while but stay tuned guys we're going to see if we can find ourselves another million loot raid can we keep the streak going we've done three in a row the one below it was just under a million so it wasn't quite a million let's see if we can keep this going though stay tuned we'll be back in a moment Let's see what we can find. 
Guys, I am not even kidding you. This is literally the first base I landed on. 900 plus thousand elixir. Now, I know I said I was going to find a million loot raid, but I don't really want to keep skipping these bases. I mean, it's just incredible. I've never seen this before, guys. I don't know what Supercell has done to the ecosystem, but this loot is just absolutely ridiculous. Now, as I said, this was literally the first base we landed on when we clicked that attack button. I'm going to prove it to you in a second. I will show you there is less than like a minute or two between those attacks, guys. It is just absolutely mind-blowing. Where this loot is coming from, I've got no idea. We're going to try and do a little bit better against this base, guys. I would like to pick up maximum loot, but we do kind of need the queen to go in. Here we go. Okay. She just needs to take out that air defense, guys. So I'm going to freeze it before it kills too many of my healers. And hopefully... The queen can now take it down. Yes, she can. Okay, so as the queen's doing her thing over there, I'm going to start with a funnel this side. And we are going to... Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Queen's going down. Queen's going down. Let's rage up the queen again, guys. Let's get these peckers in with the wall wrecker. Here we go. King Grand Warden. And we'll follow up with the giants and the bowlers on the back, guys. Okay. Where's my queen at? Yeah, she's probably... You know what? Let's just freeze that um, Inferno Tower. Queen's going to go down, guys. I messed it up again. I apologize. I'm just getting so damn excited with this loot that we're finding. Let's see if we can take out this base for a two-star, though, guys. I'm not really bothered if we do. I just want to grab as much of the loot as possible and farm up quicker than ever. There goes the Grand Warden's ability. Still got the King's ability, though. He's going to go up towards the north of the base. And we are going to take out the Expo in the center with the Pekka. Just about clutch that. There goes the King's ability, guys. He's going to go running up towards the top of the base. Let's grab. Let's see if we can snap some of this elixir, guys. Can we get it? Oh, damn, we can't. We can't grab it. But you know what? It doesn't even matter. We still done over 70% total damage. And we're able to move on to the next one. Let's end that raid there, guys. And let's go straight into another life attack. Yo, so here it is, guys. I told you we would find it. And we have located another 2.3 million in resources, guys. Absolutely insane loot. Let's see if we can get in here and take it all out, guys. So what I want to do, I want to send the queen in here. Run along the west wing. And then, I run and then I want to run along the north of the base, hopefully to take out all those elixir storages. If it's going to work, we could do some serious damage to this base. If it doesn't work, we should still get at least a very high one star, guys. But I'm going for the resources. I don't really care about the town hall. Trying to get as much of this money as possible. And we're trying to do it as quickly as I can. So, as the queen is doing her thing... Let's see if we can snap some of these collectors. The ones on the edges, guys. Should be able to get quite a few of them. Checking up on the queen. She is looking good. Taking out those buildings pretty damn quickly. And we are going to be moving our way around the left of the base, guys. Okay. Here we go. Queen is going on route. I'm actually going to rage her up, maybe. Hold on. Let's see, guys. Can she go without a rage spell? Or should we rage up the queen? Um, no, you know what? We're going to rage her up, guys. She's going to run into the base now. Here we go. Now, as that is going on, I am going to come in with the main army. I think I'm going to come in from the right-hand side, guys. So I'm going to use two baby dragons to funnel over there. Oh, damn. Queen's getting targeted by the single target. That was close. Let's get these wall breakers in. Hopefully, the queen is going to be a oh, jumping bomb. Damn. Let's go with a jump spell, guys. I want my queen to survive here. I don't want her to go down. If the queen can take out the town hall, this is going to be incredible, guys. She's going to do it. The queen's got the town hall in the bag, guys. That's going to get me extra resources, but we've still got so much elixir on the map. Let's see if we can take down the elixir. So, going to drop in the giants. Come in with the war wrecker. Send in the triple pecker. I'm going to pop the queen's ability because I can't see her, guys. And everything else is going to get raged up over on the right-hand side. Poison spell is going to go down randomly in the center. Queen's going to die, but it's cool. Let's pop the Grand Warden's ability, guys. And let's see where we go from here. So, King is going to run into the core. We are going to take out the Inferno Tower in the center. Run down this side of the base. I'm going to use the other two baby dragons 
to take out the remaining collectors and storages, which have all the loot inside, guys. One more baby dragon to take out this archer tower. And I think we have got all the resources in the base, or at least 99.9% .9 of it. Check that out, guys. We got every single penny. How well was that executed? We absolutely destroyed this dude, and we can end it there. A happy, happy man. Over a million gold, well over 1.1 million elixir, 9,000 plus dark elixir. We've almost got enough dark elixir already to upgrade the king to level 59, guys. Just incredible resource farming. Let's go for another couple of wall upgrades. We've upgraded like 12 walls in a single episode, which is a lot considering each one of these walls is 3.2 million resources. But there it is, my friends. The secret to maxing out this base and preparing for Town Hall 13 is to do these midnight farming sessions without them. I don't think I'd be able to farm up in time, but with them, we're able to max out so quickly. So this is episode number one of the day. There is going to be a double upload. Make sure you stay tuned for episode number two. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you shortly. Peace out.